Hello, I'm Lester Lee, and welcome back to Movies Now at SavannahNow.com. This week we're going to talk about Twilight, New Moon, The Blind Side, and Planet 51. And now for our feature presentation. Twilight, New Moon is the second movie of the Twilight trilogy, and it is following 2008's Twilight, and it is also the second movie based off of Stephanie Meyer's best-selling books. In New Moon, we see Bella trying to deal with the abrupt departure of her vampire love, Edward Cullen, and she's also drawn closer to her friend, Jacob Black, who is a werewolf. And the werewolves are ancestral enemies of the vampires, so she finds her loyalties tested as she's drawn between the two worlds. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of the Twilight trilogy. I haven't read any of the books, because I just don't really care. But it's drawn many comparisons to Harry Potter, which I do love, and from the trailers, the movies look relatively okay. So if you like Twilight, which many of you do, then go see New Moon, and at least it's probably better than The Vampire's Assistant. Also coming out this weekend is The Blind Side. The Blind Side is based on the true story of the Baltimore Ravens football player Michael Ower. After impoverished beginnings, he was adopted into the caring family of Sean and Leanne Tui, played by Tim McGraw and Sandra Bullock, and they brought him up in their loving home. And he played high school football, was one of the top recruits for college, and then eventually went to the NFL where he is now. It's very, it seems very heartfelt, and it kind of reminds me of radio, except this guy goes pro. And when I think about it, it might be the first football movie that girlfriends have to drag their boyfriends to see. This team is your family, Michael. When you look at him, you think of me, how you have my back. Are you going to protect your family, Michael? Yes, ma'am. SJ, you're going to want to get this. Who's the big guy eating with your little brother? It's his big brother. I think what you're doing is so great. Sandra Bullock. Hey, you're changing that boy's life. No. He's changing mine. Another movie coming out this weekend geared more towards families and small children is Planet 51. Planet 51 is an animated movie, much in the vein of Shrek, that follows astronaut Chuck Baker as he lands on a new planet that he thinks no one has yet set foot on. But he soon discovers that it's already inhabited by little green aliens. It's interesting because the aliens are actually scared of him because when you think about it, he's the alien in the situation. So it should be a fun-filled movie. And it's interesting to note that it's named Planet 51, which draws correlations to both Area 51, the famous alien destination on Earth, as well as the year 1951 on which the planet seems to be modeled. So if you have some time and you want to go take your family to a movie, go see Planet 51. On a routine mission to explore a distant planet, he was prepared for anything. Ha, 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 ha. Mm -hmm. Except this. Oh. <laughs> 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 I can breathe. I found the alien. I'm not the alien here. You are, you are, you are. What? What? Huh? 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 Hello? Hello? Twilight New Moon, The Blind Side, and Planet 51 come out Friday, November 20th, 2009. For local times and listings, go to savannahnow.com slash do slash movies now. Once again, this is Lester Lee for Movies Now at savannahnow.com.